This is not a beer review, but something I find quite interesting. There will be reviews on these beers, but just, just watch the video. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Maperuski, for Not A Beer Review. Today we are going to take a quick look and unboxing of two six packs of beers from across Canada. This is from Red Racer, across the nation collaboration. It takes six beers from both the East Coast and the West Coast of Canada and they bring them together in two separate packs. So we're gonna open these today and then reviews will be coming down the line after this video sometime, I don't know, I review and then I edit and it's all jumbled, but you'll see them, I'll get to them, do not worry. So we got one from the West and one from the East, two six packs, really, really cool. Um, so, let's, uh, let's, let's do the East first, we'll put the West to the side, and let's crack open this East pack. In this first one. Oh, look at those cans. Pretty cool. Oh, okay, that's perfect. And the first beer we have out of the box is by the Two Crows Brewing Co. from Nova Scotia. Coast to Coast. It is a ancient grain saison coming in at 6.6% .6 alcohol by volume. Very, very cool indeed. Looking forward to that. From Ontario, next up, from Kichisippi Beer Co. Is there nine? Is there sorry? One ninety-one Marzen, which is a Fest Marzen, coming in at five point four percent alcohol by volume. Pretty cool. From Quebec, we have La Grande Riviere, from Brasseurs de Temps. It is a Cranberry Belgian IPA, coming in at six point five percent alcohol by volume. Very cool. Very cool. Next, we have from PEI, or Prince Edward Island, from Upstreet Craft Brewing, Singing Sands. It is a salted caramel lager at 5% alcohol by volume. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Salted caramel. I've only had one other salted caramel beer, um, and that was from Muskoka Brewery. Over here from New Brunswick, from the ba, 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 Trailway Brewing Co., we have Three Beasts, American IPA, coming in at 6.6% .6 alcohol by volume. Very, very cool indeed. And finally, in the East Coast Pack, from none other than Newfoundland, we have from the Yellow Belly Brewery and Public House, Me Old Trout an East Coast Cream Ale coming in at 5.2% alcohol by volume. Now they all sort of have the exact same logo, just the tops are different and they list uh, the, the style and the brewery down here as well. But that's the East Pack. So I'm gonna put that to the side now. I'm gonna pull up the pack from the West, the West Coast. Another six beers, another six things to review, another six videos for you guys. We're gonna start the same here. Pulling out from Yukon, from Yukon Brewing, is their Northern Nectar. Honey Pale Ale, coming in at 5.4% alcohol by volume. Pretty, pretty cool. That sounds quite delicious. From Saskatchewan, where my mom's from, from the Rebellion Brewing Co., we have Put a Cherry on Hop, a Cherry Milkshake, ooh, Cherry Milkshake IPA, at 6% alcohol by volume. Pretty cool, that actually sounds really, really tasty. I might review that after I shoot this video. From the Northwest Territories, from Northwest Territories Brewing Co., is their Midnight Ember. A smoked stout coming in at 6% alcohol by volume. That sounds delicious, and that sounds perfect for this colder weather that we are getting up here now. <clears throat> As for BC, 
from the Fuggles and Warlock Craftworks. This is their Ruby Sunset, a pomegranate sour ale, coming in at 6% alcohol by volume. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not too bad. From Alberta, where most of my mom's family is out right now, or where they live right now. From Blind Man Brewing, this is the Red Rivers of Rye. Red Rye Sour Saison. Ooh. Coming in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. Pretty cool indeed. And finally, the sixth brew from this pack, or the twelfth brew overall, from none other than Manitoba, the one that a lot of people, I guess, forget about. Well, that in PEI is from the Torque Brewing Company Halfway IPA. It's a white IPA coming in at 6% alcohol by volume. I like me a white IPA. That sounds pretty good. Very, very nice to crack these open in the future. So there you have it, guys. 12 beers from all across Canada. I think, I think they've hit most places, right? I want to say because there's 10 provinces and three territories what haven't they hit so we've got nova scotia ontario quebec pei newfoundland labrador new brunswick and then in here we have saskatchewan yukon northwest territories alberta and manitoba and also what was the last one sorry british columbia we're missing none of it I don't know if none of it has any breweries up there. If they're not in here, or maybe they were just left out. But that's the only uh, only territory that we're missing out of these two six packs. But with that said, look forward to these reviews. They will be up after this video, obviously, because it's the introduction, and then I'll, I'll do the videos. You, you, you'll see them when they're uploaded in your subscription boxes and all that fun jazz. But yes, look forward to these 12 beers being reviewed and put up onto YouTube for your viewing pleasure. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.